Hello YouTube, thought I'd do a quick video here. I've had a few people ask me through email, how do I connect or link my repeaters together? And the best way to do this is with Zello. Now, you're gonna have to have some requirements before you can even do this. Obviously, the first one on the list here is, each repeater site needs internet access. There's gotta be a computer there and it's got to be Zello installed on that computer. Each one. So in this example, I have three repeaters. I'm going to need three computers with three internet access um, and the computer's got to have Zello installed on them. Okay? Um, so that is one requirement. The other one is you got to create your own Zello channel. That's real easy to do. Um, I'll post a lot of links in the, down, in the description down below on Zello and, and how to use Vox and, and, and all that. And I'll explain that in a minute. Um, each, the number three, each repeater needs a different Zello name. What I mean by that is you cannot just sign up for Zello. Let's just pick a name. Let's say you came up with a name, I don't know, uh, you know, John Smith for a username for Zello. Well, you cannot use that same name at repeater one, repeater two, repeater three, because you cannot sign in on more than one computer with the same username using Zello. So you're gonna have to do create, in this example, I have three repeaters, three different user Zello usernames. Like for instance, if I made a Zello name called John's repeater number one, another Zello name, username called John's repeater number two, you know, etc. Um, that way you can log in and have more, you know, more than um, uh, you can log in without logging each other off it. That's what I'm trying to say because you cannot use the same name um, for all this, all the sites. So. What I do is, and if I remember correctly, Zello lets you have, I believe it's five usernames on one email address, using one email address. So if you need more than that, then just make up a new email address, whether it's Yahoo or Gmail or whatever. What I do is, for an example, I have my username that I use when I talk with people, the gambler. That is just for me to talk on. When I use a repeater, for an example, I have one um, username called uh, repeater test. So that way I can sign into my Zello channel with my gambler name and have my repeater sign in under repeater test and we both can be in the same channel. Okay, so that's why I gotta have unique names to do this. Okay, so um, the next thing is, does your repeater have a data port? Does it have a DB9 connector? Do you have to use Vox? Do, you know, does or does it not have none of that? Now I can't go into great detail because there's so many different repeater uh, ways to hook up to the computer, but I'll post some links down below to the um, Vox way and the COM port way. Now you're probably thinking, well, my repeater don't have none of that. My repeater's old. I don't have no audio hookup cables on my repeater. I don't have no data port on my repeater. No problem. You can get yourself a handheld, program it to that repeater frequency, and connect the repeater to the internet using that handheld. I've done that in a lot of videos on that. So and I'll like again, I'll post a lot of links down below. Um, so you can go that route and use Vox settings with the handheld if you need to. Now Vox can be a little finicky as we all know, but that's that's an option. Or if you don't want to use Vox and you want to use a COM port, I've done a lot of videos on those. Um, I'll post, like I say, some links down below. I'm also going to post some links to Zello's help, like how to, the best settings when using Vox. I'll post a link to that. Zello has a help on that. I'll post a link to 
different ch Zello channels you can create, and I'll kind of explain what I mean there in a minute. I'll post a link to that. I'll post a link to uh, troubleshooting. Um, so I'll post that link too in the description below. So also too, you don't need the paid version. You don't need Zello work to do this. You can use the free Zello, whether it's in gateway mode or whether it's not, okay? So that's the good news. You can do this for free. I should rephrase that. You can do this for free using Zello's program. Obviously, you got to have internet and you got to have a computer, so you'd have to, you know, pay for that. But for the most part, the Zello part of it is free, okay? So, now the next thing I want to kind of show you here is kind of what I mean. I have like a little chart here. And this is what I'm talking about. This will kind of maybe this will kind of maybe help kind of put this in view for you. And I'm using three repeaters. You can use five, ten, fifteen, whatever, how many you want. You can connect worldwide, obviously, because it's using the internet. But I'm using three for this example. Now, repeater one, I named the Zello user called repeater one. Same with repeater two. Now you not might not be able to use those simple names. You might have to be creative, but you, but but you get the point here. Repeater 3, I have a Zello user name called Repeater 3. Now, they're all going to join a Zello channel called Repeater Channel. Okay, again, use whatever name you want. But the point is, it's three different usernames joining one Zello channel. Okay? So, that's what, this is how you, this can be done. So, now, if you want to create a Zello channel it's real simple after you sign up on Zello let's see if I can uh, do this here okay now if you want to create a channel all right what you do and I'm in gateway mode you don't have to be in gateway mode to do this um, but you go to tools, create a channel right there, okay? Now it's going to pop up with this little pop-up. And this is where, now I'm going to post a link to Zello to explain more of this. But this is where you can set a password. So, if, you know, you don't want people you know, entering without a password. The channel name, or your Zello ch ch uh, channel name, the description. You can also make it so that only everyone can talk or people need to have permission. There's all kinds of settings. Again, I will post a link to explain some of those settings in the description below. But that's how you create it. Real simple. Okay? The, the trickiest part, I guess, is, and I, again, I'm in gateway mode. You don't need to be in gateway mode to use Vox. But I'm in gateway mode. So there's Vox settings on gateway mode. I have not played with Vox on the gateway mode. But I'm assuming it's probably the same as the regular way. Um, but you can you can use gateway mode if you want to, or regular Zello, whichever way. If you're going to use Vox, now if you're going to use a COM port setting, then you got to put your Zello in gateway mode. Again, I'll post that link down below. But in this particular case, um, if I go to radio, I have this one, and in, in, um, I'm using COM ports because I they're more stable. They're not finicky compared to Vox. You know, Vox stands for voice activation. So if you pause while you're talking to somebody, it's, it could turn off Vox in mid-sentence because you paused. Well, using a COM port, you don't have to worry about that. So that's what I like to use. You don't have to, but it's not a bad idea. So that's, I'm hoping this video kind of gives you some ideas on how to get started. Like I said, I'll post a lot of links down below. Um, if you have any questions or comments, Please post them down below, and of course, please subscribe. Thank you, and have a good day.